Jameson, Aaron Boone said he felt like your stuff ticked up a bit tonight. Do you agree with that assessment? Yeah, yeah. I thought the stuff was really good tonight. I thought it was crisp. Um, and what I was most excited about was just the stuff that I worked on in between the outings I thought showed up today. I thought we had a good idea of where the top of the zone was. I threw way more curveballs. Uh, we got that pitch really involved in the game plan. So the stuff I worked on in, the, in between starts and on the side I thought showed up, which excites me. When you are able to elevate that fastball like you did at times tonight, how much more effective does that then make your curveball? <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, those two pitches pair really well together. Um, you know, if you see like on Pitching Ninja and stuff where the high fastballs and curveballs really look the same out of the hand, so it makes the, uh, makes the decision a little harder for the, for the hitter. So um, I thought we had a pretty good, pretty good fastball-curveball combo going, especially to the lefties. Dave Lennon, please unmute. Jamison, Aaron said that, that his faith in you hadn't changed from start to start. Uh, I'm just curious from your perspective, though, mm -hmm. does a start like this give you more confidence as it kind of seems like another step forward mm -hmm. from the past couple starts that you had? Yeah, yeah, I was I remained confident, even though my last start didn't go as planned. Um, you know, I, I took a lot of stuff on the side and, and learned from some things. But, um, you know, I'd obviously always rather do well and, and have the team win and contribute to that than you know, put the team in a hole like I did in my last game. So it definitely feels good. Um, but, you know, what I said to Mariners too, like I'm most excited about putting that work in on the side and seeing it show up in the game. And then if I can keep doing that for, you know, 30 starts or whatever that number is, you know, I think we'll be in a really good place going forward. I mean, it seemed like the only two mistakes maybe you made all night with the, with the two doubles, right, that, that got hit pretty hard. I mean, otherwise you seemed like you were putting the ball pretty much where you wanted it. Yeah, yeah, I thought the at-bat to Heredia that ended in a double on a 3-2 slider, that one just kind of, that was weird. I kind of lost my release point for a second. Um, and, you know, when you're at the bottom of the lineup, that just can't happen. Um, and then turned it around and just kind of cut a fastball into Adrianza there. So, yeah, I thought other than that, I was I was in pretty pretty good control. Thank you. Go next to Justin Shackle. Hey, Jameson. Uh, what impressed you the most about how uh, some of the relievers were able to work in and out of trouble following your, your out? Yeah, yeah. I mean, they made a lot of big pitches tonight. I feel like they've been making a lot of good pitches all year. Um, you know, on a night like tonight where if I can pitch and get the ball into Chad Green and Justin Wilson and Luizica and uh, Chappie's hands, like if I can get those guys involved, that means we're in a good spot in the game. So um, as a starter, you just need to keep your team in a game, try to protect that bullpen not have them cover too many innings, but if they're, if they're getting in the game, we're doing something right. Go to and you and go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead. You, you and you and um, Morton were both settled in pretty nicely tonight. What, what was it like watching Gio be able to get one back for you with that homer in the fifth? Yeah, that was huge. Um, I knew Charlie for a while. We were in Pittsburgh together. I never played with him in the majors, but I rehabbed an injury with him. He's a great dude. And I have fun watching him compete, but to be able to clip him there, um, you know, he had a pretty pretty solid night. He was tough on our guys all night. So, Gio with with another timely homer. He's done it before this year already. Um, hopefully, that kind of sparks us 